Hey guys, so I'm back with another speed drawing video and as I promised, it's how to train your dragon to fan art, but this is just a small piece. I do want to do something bigger with more characters, something like that, but I just didn't have time this time around. And I know I haven't been putting out many videos lately and here's why. I've actually been working a ton. If you watch my vlogs at all, you'd know lately I've been working nonstop because I started working six days a week and it has been torture you guys so i only have sundays off and then i spend my sundays you know cleaning the apartment getting groceries doing laundry all that kind of stuff that needs to get done and then i had hardly any spare time it was so difficult but good news is this past friday was my last or last this past saturday was my last saturday shift so i'm done with the saturday shifts now i'm back to working only five days a week which is awesome and if anyone's wondering i work as an animator in an animation studio so i'm <laughs> i don't know i'm just excited but the reason this hiccup drawing is a small drawing as opposed to a big one is because i'm actually leaving town i'm going to be gone for 10 days and i'm leaving tomorrow morning so when my flight leaves and so it was a bit of a rush to get this out so i decided to do something smaller and more simple just one character close up shot makes it really easy so what i'm doing here is just i sketched it out on normal computer printer paper and then i just used a a normal hp pencil it was that frozen pencil that i got from kate in my mailbox and then i took my rotring 600 to sort of clean up the lines make it a little cleaner before i ink it because normally when i ink it i will trace it with my light box onto a proper piece of paper but i trace it in pencil and then ink it well, I decided I didn't have time for that, so I just inked it directly onto the paper using the light box. And the way I do that is I just do one quick line over everything, and then I turn off the light box and fix up the lines to make them look prettier. So that's the process I use this time. So yeah, here's where you see me start to do that. Uh, let's see, what else is new? Oh, a week, about, yeah, a week and a half ago, I filmed the second bail mail video because I got so much mail. It was weird because I felt like it was too soon to record another mail video, but I had so much stuff, and it's a 49-minute video. <laughs> it's so long. So I have that all edited, and I will upload it in a few days while I'm gone. Um, I won't have internet for the first five days because I'll be at my dad's farm, but after that I'll go visit my mom and she'll have internet there, so that'll be good. <laughs> That's probably when I'll upload the mail video. Oh no, we're only three minutes into the video and I'm running out of things to say. It's hard because I talk about everything in my daily vlogs. I can only talk so much about the artwork, but then if I talk about my personal life, it's all stuff a bunch of you have heard before. And I know most of you don't watch the vlogs, but it's just... It's, I don't know, it feels weird repeating myself. So anyway, the paper I'm using in this is actually just some Strathmore Bristol board. It's just smooth, normal Bristol board. And the reason I'm using that is because I'm actually going to color this with my pencil crayons, aka colored pencils. It's the same thing, just different term. And so, yeah, I was really excited about that. Because the thing I like about pencils is you can just take your time to build the layers more. I'm sure you could do that with markers, but I panic when I use my markers and I feel like I need to go fast. So it's kind of nice using pencils, just slowly layering and blending. It's, it's kind of relaxing actually, but you just saw me color the skin with Copics and that's because Prismacolor, I don't know about other brands, but Prismacolor does not have good flesh tones for Caucasian skin. It's stupid. You get that typical peach color that's the same as like Crayola peach and it's no, 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 it is terrible. So what I decided to do was I just used my Copics to do a base. I used E50 and E51 just to do, get that base coat. And then I did all the shading and stuff with the pencils because yeah, coloring skin is the thing I struggle with the most when using pencils. So I just thought, Hey, use Copics as a base. Bam. Good to go. It's all good. <laughs> And yeah, I just slowly layered it up. I used some browns, I used a slightly yellowish color and then a really pale pink. And then I just concentrated that pink on the cheeks, but the pink is all over, but it's just, there's more of it on the cheeks and on the tip of the nose. And oh, I guess I can talk about just the process of sketching Hiccup because I wanted it to look like Hiccup yet still be my style, except the nose is a little different than I normally do it. 
it, I just made it a little more similar to his 3D model, or at least I tried. <laughs> so I think to get him to look like Hiccup when you're drawing him, you need to give him that really square jaw. If you look at pictures, the shape of the jaw changes depending on the angle you're seeing him from, whether or not his mouth is open, that kind of stuff. But in general, it's very square and he doesn't have a very long chin. So I tried to get that in. Plus when I did his eyebrows, his eyebrows are really close together and they're really low, really close to his eyes. So I think if you get that, that also really helps. So those are the main things I focused on. And then for the lips, I feel like the mouth is kind of a fail. I like the way I colored the lips and everything, but I'm trying to do a side smile and it just turned out looking like I drew his nose crooked or his mouth is crooked or something. It just looks crooked, but that's what it, it was supposed to be a side smile, but it just, I obviously didn't do it right if it's looking wrong, so <laughs> wah, sad face. Also, just about How to Train Your Dragon 2 in general, if you haven't seen it, oh, you should go see it. I personally think it's better than the first movie. It's just so lovely and it has, like, the, the theme of family is very prevalent throughout it all. And what I like is how him and Astrid have a normal relationship. It's not like there's drama and they fight and something happens. No, it's just like normal healthy relationship which is so nice to see in a movie it just focused on family and oh, it was just such a good movie and i cried and you should definitely see it i'm probably gonna go see it a second time because my sister hasn't seen it yet and i'm going home tomorrow so we're gonna see it sometime sometime in the next 10 days we will watch it together and it will be awesome <sighs> so here on his suit normally when i use pencil crayons I layer and then I push down really hard on the final layer just to get rid of the white that you see poking through on the paper. But with his little armor thingy, his leather, it's like a really dark brown leather, pretty much black. What I found is that if you let some of the graininess show through, it makes a cool texture. It gives it that leathery texture. So I had to try and resist pressing hard. I would start and I'm like, no, stop it. Just color lightly a little bit because it makes the texture look more proper. So yeah, I kind of force myself to do that. And then here, the lighting all of a sudden kind of changes. I don't know if you'll notice or not, but uh, I was recording the rest of it at night and then all of a sudden I'm recording in the morning because what happened is I have two batteries for a reason. One battery is always in my camera. One battery is always on the charger. And then they swap places, obviously. But when I was recording one portion of this, this drawing and inking, I changed the batteries but forgot to put the, the dead battery on the charger. And so what happened when I was coloring, and I'm in a huge time constraint because I'm flying out of town tomorrow, my battery died and I had no batteries. Both of them were dead and it was so sad. So but that wasn't the tragedy though. Well, for, in my opinion, the tragedy was I'm like angry, I go to take the battery out of the camera, drop it, and it lands on the hiccup drawing, and my batteries are these little square black batteries with sharp corners. The corner lands on the artwork. Not only does it create a dent in the paper, but a black scuff mark. I don't know if you can tell, but it's on his face, on screen right, so his left cheek, right beside his nose. There's like a weird area where the color doesn't look quite smoothed out because Oh, I tried so hard to try and erase it, but it's not pencil, obviously, so it was not coming off. Plus, there's just a dent in the paper, which catches the light and casts a shadow on one side of the dent, and it just looks, ugh, so sad. I mean, it's not that noticeable anymore, especially once I draw the stubble on him, even though the stubble doesn't even go up to that point. But when it happened, I was like, what have I done? I was actually really liking the coloring and then I went and destroyed it because the battery and I never would have dropped the battery on it in the first place if I would have just charged it like I was supposed to. So I was a little sad. Anyway, enough of that. Now moving on to the background, I decided to take the red that's on his outfit and incorporate that into the background. And then I just thought of blue this is kind of like a sky blue. I wanted more of a cyan, but I don't have a cyan pencil. It's, cyan's just like a, almost like a neon pale blue. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but um, I didn't quite have a cyan, so that was a bit of a bummer. But just did the sky blue and red, and then a really, really light gray. I think it was like French gray. Wait, I have it right here. French? No, it's cool gray number 10. Oh. I used French grays for his 
his armor as well as black. That's why I got that slightly brownish hue to his leather thingy. Anyway, so then I just did these blotches in the background because that's what I had pictured from the start. So, I don't know, I actually like how it turned out. So it was nice, simple drawing, good to do with my time constraints and everything. So yeah, I'm actually really pleased with how it turned out. And next video will be my bail mail video, and then hopefully more after that. So if you have any character requests you'd like me to draw, please let me know in the comments and I'll consider it. I don't really take requests, I mostly just do stuff I'm a fan of myself, but feel free to leave requests anyway. So yes, there's my hiccup and now he's getting his stubble. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I really like his character design in the second movie. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay. I'm being cut off now. Okay. Bye guys.